We'll have time for the last play. There's all sorts of confusion down on sideline level. Who's on, who's off for Kiribati. Sito goes to the front for the trickery from Kiribati, but the referee says that one hasn't gone straight. And it's all happening here at Ballymore. It's quite a confusing line out. I'm sure what was planned there between Kiribati, but they didn't execute it, and Nauru will get one more shot. Come over here. Oh, here. maybe we're not five. Over here. Nauru will get another shot score some points before the end of the half. Well, certainly look to take it. Grab. Charles DeGaro, in the number one jersey, Nine. feeds it in. Set. Right on halfway. Since a few times, he loves a little opportunity down the blind side. He had not much room to work with. He does want to shovel it back in the field of play. Gesson. Now going forward is big Yoshi Harris. Johnny DeGaro straightening hard and putting on the afterburn. The offload on the inside is a brilliant one and charging forward inside the five. Nauru, numbers are plenty. Can they use them? They back themselves there and tuck the head, the high shot. So quick tap to Badu. He's got the hands on it. Now for Headmont, who just bumps away from one and wrestles across the chalk and it bobbles out the front door. And the referee says no try of play on here from the own in goal, Kiribas. There is plenty going on here and nothing out of the Rugby Sevens textbook. And that's half time. And after all that, we will take a break. Nauru leading 12 points to nil at half time and Rugby Sevens can deliver it all. We'll be back for the second half right after this. back to the Oceania Sevens coverage and that was a very interesting first half on all levels but Nauru do hold a lead 12 points to nil. Train Sevens. Player Henry Hutchison joining me in commentary. Henry, do your best to explain that seven minutes for me. Well, it went to almost 11 minutes. <laughs> went over time quite a lot. The boys want to be out there playing Back end just got a little bit scrappy. Both both teams losing their way a little bit, losing their structure. Hopefully half time they've regained over time quite a lot. The boys want to be out there playing. Back end just got a little bit scrappy. Both both teams losing their way a little bit, losing their structure. Hopefully half time they've regrouped. The coaches have chatted to them, got them back on script and see a bit more of a clinical half from both teams. Hopefully half time they've regrouped. The coaches have chatted to them, got them back on script and see a bit more of a clinical half from both teams. 
hopefully half time they've regrouped the coaches have chatted to them got them back on script and see a bit more of a clinical half from both teams so let's see how it unfolds and that pops the deflection off the Kiribati Tierra off the kickoff let's see how it unfolds and that pops the deflection off the Kiribati Tierra off the kickoff who will play the line out and will be Nauru with a chance to add further onslaught to the replay here just line out and will be Nauru with a chance to add further onslaught to the replay here just over the top and went through the hands of Tierra Degaro goes to the front finds Harris and now back to Degaro good combinations at the line out time and playing of Plenty of Degaro goes to the front, finds Harris, and now back to Degaro. Good combinations at the line out time and playing of plenty of width now on the wraparound play. And that one's left behind. The opportunity was there, but it's still alive for Nauru. Summing up options, combinations at the line out time and playing of plenty of width now on the wraparound play. And that one's left behind. The opportunity was there, but it's still alive for. Nauru summing up options, combinations at the line out time and playing of plenty of width now on the wraparound play and that one's left behind the opportunity was there but it's still alive for Nauru summing up options out wide directing some traffic and eventually takes it forward out wide directing some traffic and eventually takes it forward so the full on penalty goes Nauru. Nauru just rushing it a little bit, rushing that wrap, wrapping play, just arriving at the skill zone a little bit too early. I'd like to see them just be a little bit more composed in their attack. And here they go with a bit of composure and a bit of skill as well. Charles Dugaro inside, outside, pops the ball over the top, and this is better from Nauru. And last man, Kamatora, runs it around. Oh, their third try of the matchup. But that was class there in the middle. Yeah, no, they just took their time there in the middle there. They just shifted it to the middle of the field. Degaro was able to just have a look to see where the holes were. Bang, off his right foot, bang. Freed the hands in contact. Was able to find Kamataro, who was supporting him on the inside to score under the post. The extra two was on the money as well. Nauru leading 19 points to nil. In the second half. And there's a restart and kind of puts some pressure on and misses everyone. Eventually it's picked up there for the Kiribati. Tiki. Trying to retrieve their own ball. Play on, says the referee. Picked and go there from Mericino. Tierra. Wide now for Tiki getting involved and getting wide. He beats the first. Good play here. And some pace as well. An absolute flyer down the edge. Here's James. James beats one. Tries the cut on the inside. Leaves the last defender in his wake. And welcome to Ballymore. Here a bus. Oh, no. It's been caught back. James He's got a foot in touch looks like it but what a piece of individual brilliance what speed but it looks like he might have just put his right foot out on touch here As we zoom in the fans oh oh yeah that second one yeah. is yes but man I was fired up calling it in James, plenty of pace. Had it all, had the pace, had the D-cell, the yak cell, the fend, the big kicking, the ball, try celebration at the end. we fired up. But no good. So score <laughs> remains 19 points to nil, 10 and a half gone. Henry's fired up in the booth as oh, well. I was. Aru brings it out. They had 22. Elko Dorn, Degaro. Now release the call. So he taps and goes again to El Kudun. 
And feet there from Cam, and he runs out of room and slings a wild one back inside. Play on is the call, and he goes, Gessen, Kjopki. Good tackle there from Kiribati, and on his feet with the steal. There was a knock on and all that, so back down for a scrum. And now we're looking to finish the job here. A great cover tackle there by Tani Tioa from Kiribati, just hunting on that inside, chop tackle, nearly getting the pilk as well. Just losing handling of the ball. And Nauru, another good attacking opportunity. Centerfield scrum. Let's see what they do. Good options, both sides. Johnny Degaro in the 11 jersey just lurking on that left hand side. Getting in behind. And they go to that left hand side and some options as well. And here he is winding up Johnny Degaro. Gets away from the one, trying to punish the Kiribati defense in the closing stages. There's offloads going everywhere, but it's still alive. Out the back door, play on the call. Flick pass, and the bounce, and the scoop. And the referee says that one's gone forward, so we'll come back again. And nothing's off the cards here. They are just playing eyes up footy here. The skill of these offloads is amazing. If they could just relax on the frantic nature of trying to move their hands and spot the support player get two hands out of the tackle and almost get eye contact with the person receiving the ball those balls are going to be going ahead rather than fragging the ball and hoping for the best and that's been the key it's been hope for the best a lot in this contest but Nauru holding the lead 19 points to nil final minute of action coming up and here goes Kilobas can they get on the board and he goes flying over the top Tierra And they go wide, there's options here, and the danger man's lurking is James. He doesn't get it this time. That one goes a mile forward from Sito. Had to go earlier there to James. Would love to see him in full flight one-on-one -on -one there. Oh, James showed us what he could do earlier. Oh, I'd be filthy if I was him on the wing. I'd be demanding that ball. Give it, give it. They did their job. They drew in his players. Just needed to free their hands and get the ball into their speed. As you can see, a little playful step, but he looks electric. The final moments of this matchup. Nauru destined for their first win of the tournament. Johnny Degaro, can he finish with one more? He is an absolute technician with his feet. And now he's got some pace as well. Skinning them on the outside. The magic ball and a big time result for Nauru. And Elko Dorn, the Garo out of the Bow Warriors Club. He deserves a try and he gets one to finish the job for Nauru. Well, take a bow. Johnny Garo, he's been everywhere today. Look at the size of his legs. Stops on a dime. Powerful runner, he knows where his support players are going to be. Just makes it look super easy. Great performance from him today. So Nauru, 24 points to nil, a kick to come here. And it's a big moment for the country of Nauru. They'll all be watching, I'm sure, get their first win of the campaign. Big moment for the country. Yeah, definitely, I think. Been able to come to Brisbane and play on the world stage and represent the country. It's an enormous moment for them and their families. Full time score, Nauru 26, Kiribati nil. And we'll keep things moving because the action does continue. Oceania, sevens championship.